Is it time to eat the chocolate cake or not? Cake is for closers. <laughs> oh. oh man, rough. I don't know if you guys heard that, but basically I've got to catch a fish before I can eat the chocolate cake this morning. Brutal. In these conditions. <laughs> man, you're a tough boss. Here we go. All right, so we just tucked into the wind shadow behind this rock up here on the point. It's just a tiny little bit of protection, but it's definitely sufficient to uh, keep us out of the waves right now. And the reason I wanted to park out here for a minute is I just wanted to show you the offshore conditions that we're dealing with right now. So right here in this little pocket, we're safe, but about 50 yards to my left, it is blowing about 25 miles per hour already. And we've got three to four foot wind waves building. So I think we're gonna head back the other direction. Once again, we're gonna hug the inside of the cove here, try to stay out of the waves, try to stay out of the wind. Okay, oh, oh, okay, oh, Whoa. oh Okay, I got something big. Oh man. Okay, pull up your pole, pull up your pole. Pull up your, oh I lost it. Okay, I gotta get us back into the, oh, that sucked. That thing just took line continuously. Yeah. I'm gonna pull up my pole. Okay. Let me, uh, <laughs> you don't have to pull up, I just. I, I'd rather just not have to deal with it right now. Okay. All I need is one fish of some sort. I know they're out here. We got the fish madness, man. I, I just had a monster fish on. There's no way I'm going in as long as I can control the canoe. All right, guys, it's getting pretty hectic out here, even behind the point. And also the wind's starting to shift just a little bit offshore, which means that I don't want to be anywhere out here. So I think we're going to switch pedalers for a minute. That way Liz can pedal us home directly into the wind and I'm just going to keep casting. Perfect. Great conditions right here. Go ahead and pull in. Go. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. I got a fish. I finally got a fish. Oh no! It's oh oh. It came off. We got. I gotta. I gotta catch it. I gotta catch that fish. Oh. Okay. Something's chasing them right out there. Okay. Okay. We might still get lucky, guys. There's something chasing bait fish right in front of our camp. Got him, got him, got him. Okay, hopefully I get a good enough hook set. Oh, okay, I think this is it. I don't want to lose him. Chase that fish. Yeah, it's a mahi. It's a mahi, turn and chase it. We got him. He is taking line like a mother. I got to get him away from the rocks. Um, we gotta go, yeah, go out this way for right now. We can always turn back. Yeah, he's got a lot of line out on me. Okay, I don't want to tighten my drag much more. At least I got him on a 50 pound pole. He hasn't shook it yet. Oh, damn, this fish is taking line. Okay, turn us right. We don't want to get out into the wind and waves. 
He's trying to take me offshore. Ah. Just needs to tire himself out. Oh, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna let him tire himself out. Stay on this course. Holy crap. I'm trying to turn him, but I can't risk putting more drag on him. Okay, I've stopped him, but he's not any closer to me. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. We're just gonna have to tire him out. The only thing we can do is drag him around here because we can't go offshore. If you bring him into that sandy patch in front of the Jeep, that's the safest place to fight him because there's no rocks there. Holy crap. Oh, this might be a little too big of a... Oh no! Oh no! He's got about 200 yards of line out now and I'm not making any progress against it. I can't put any more drag on this fish. Oh yeah. I think he knows that if he gets to open water, we're screwed. Okay. Stay, stay right here. Don't get any further out into the ocean. Yeah. You're going to have to fight him because he's trying to take us out there. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of progress on him. I think he's getting tired. Okay, good. I'm, I'm at least gaining something. Holy crap. He hasn't shook it yet, so I think he might be hooked pretty well. Oh my God. Ah. I'm just fingering the spool as I bring him back. Uh, it's got to be a mahi. It's got to be a mahi. I don't think it's a barrelette. I mean, it could be anything. I mean, I always am wrong about this stuff. Oh my god, my arm's starting to hurt. Oh man, this thing is a beast and it's still way the heck out there. Okay, just take us toward the Jeep. Oh my god, I gotta shake my arm out. Ah, this is starting to get uncomfortable. This is the biggest fish I've ever fought in my life. This is fighting a lot harder than anything. Oh man. It's really hard to get him in. Yeah, um, turn slightly upwind. Holy crap. Sorry about the point of view, guys. You guys are looking right into the sun, but I don't really have a choice. thing's trying to take me to Mazatlan. No, not Mazatlan. It's uh, Puerto Vallarta. I don't know. Maybe it's going to take me to Mazatlan. I feel like we're going to have to turn and chase this thing to get a line on it, but let's try to get it tired in this area. Okay, I think he is well hooked. This is good. Okay, come on. Just swim towards me, damn it. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I was feeling how I felt with that bar. I like that. I couldn't use my arms for the rest of the day. <laughs> buddy, come on. Come on, buddy. Just swim with me. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, this thing is insane. <sighs> How big is this freaking fish? I'm getting him closer. He's starting to get tired. Holy crap. I'm like thirsty. I like want to take a break. <laughs> God, I hope I never catch a tuna. I'm not even man enough for this fish. Whoa. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, just go around. Okay. I'm getting him closer. So 
sort of. Oh, now he's running again. I think this might be a gigantic fish. <laughs> like legitimately huge. turn away from shore so turn downwind that way you want to get him on this side i don't want to risk any possibility this guy can get me around a coral head as long as we stay over the sand i'll probably get him eventually you gotta turn this way oh man he's taking more line again oh man Okay, now we're on this side. I don't know if I can land this fish. Ah, son of a gun. Stop, no, stop, 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 stop. Please stop. I have a fish, right? I'm not just insane. Like, I don't have the bottom. <laughs> Fighting the bottom the whole time. I can't... I can't tire this guy out. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> it's kind of seeming a little bit more serious than a mahi. God, I hope I don't have a tuna. Why would there be a tuna close to shore, though? Jesus Christ! I was wrong, guys! Maybe I don't want to catch a giant fish! Come on! Thank God I've got this thing on the Saragossa with 50 pounds. Okay, I could see him. What are we looking at here? Turn away from shore. Actually turn, turn towards shore. We're gonna bring him around again. Tight circle, tight circle, tight circle. I don't want him to get into these rocks over here. Oh no. Oh shit, how could he still have this much power in him? Okay, go that way, please. Oh, so did I. Yeah, man, if I live to see the cake. Holy crap. Uh, seriously, I'm getting like arm cramps. What in the heck is this fish? This is way, way more powerful than anything I've ever caught in my life. I've caught 30 pound salmon out of a kayak and this doesn't even compare. Okay. Try to get us in that direction a little more. Yeah, I just want to keep us over this sand patch. As long as we're here, he's not going to put us in the coral. Oh my God, come on, buddy. I'm going to see if I can get a little more pull on him here. I just want to see what the heck it is. Okay, I don't want to do anything until he's at an angle to us again. I want to catch him on the boat, break him off. Oh God, no! Oh God damn it! Oh my God, guys! Oh crap! Oh my God! Oh my God, turn off that alarm. Oh crap! Oh man, that, that's rough. 
That is painful right there. Ah. Uh, I don't know what I just had on, but that was a massive fish. Like, I have fought up to 40 pound fish down here that I haven't gotten into the boat, and that was way bigger and way harder. Like, I. Oh man, that was an incredible fight though. I mean, kudos to that fish. I'm so glad that he shook the hook and he was able to get back out to the sea safely. So he's gonna live a long life to fight again another day. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really wish I could have seen it though. It's always painful when you just can't exactly see what you have. I just wanna see what it is. I don't necessarily need to catch it. So, oh man, that, was, that sucks. Alright guys, well, I guess that's the end of this trip right here. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, thanks for coming along on the adventure with me. I really wish we could have pulled up a big fish to show you guys, but the reality is it doesn't always work out that way. Also, it is so windy that I'm pretty sure you can't hear anything I'm saying right now. So, without further ado, as usual, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're interested in the skin on frame boats that you